Finally tonight, with all the anger and hate we see in the world today, it is nice to remember that there are still some people out there with a good heart. Here's CBS's Steve Hartman on the road. If you need your faith in humanity restored, the pharmacy in Geraldine, Alabama has just the medicine. A story of kindness that began 10 years ago when a man walked in and asked to speak with pharmacist Brooke Walker. So I assumed that he needed counseled on a medication. And that's when he said, you know, do you ever have anybody that can't pay for their medicine? Brooke said, all the time. And he said, next time that happens, I want you to use this. He handed her a $100 bill, the first of many $100 bills he would donate anonymously to help those in Geraldine who can't afford their prescriptions. People like Bree Slogater. To be honest, I was desperate. I was like, what am I going to do? I was defeated. And she said, it's taken care of. And I said, how? No one in Geraldine knew how. No one knew who. Until a few weeks ago, when the donor died and the story came out. His name? Hody Childress, an Air Force veteran and farmer. These are his children, Doug and Tanya. So when you heard of the secret, were you surprised? No. He was not a wealthy man, but he was probably the richest man on earth with his heart. Yes, he would say he's building up his riches for eternity, not for here. In fact, they say Hody was near broke after spending more than $10,000 on other people's prescriptions. The high cost of prescription drugs is a problem that extends well beyond rural Alabama, and a humble farmer can only do so much to fix it. But, as is often the case with kindness, sometimes a small deed can start a monumental movement. Are you aware of what's going on? Oh, we're aware. It's global. And it's just blown our mind. That one small act makes a difference. Proof of that now shows up every day in the pharmacy mailbox. Folks either donating to keep the fund going in Geraldine or pledging to start a fund at their pharmacy. Doug and Tanya say that generosity doesn't take away their pain. Sure do miss you, Dad. But it does give it purpose. You made a big impression on people. Steve Hartman, on the road in Geraldine, Alabama.